what's so very special about Donatello was that he was able to combine the different styles, if, uh, if you like, from his the recent past with the new interest in the classical past to create his own distinctive approach to sculpture. He had such an insight into the human being, into the human psyche, into human emotions, and that really comes through in his sculpture, regardless of what material he's using, and he uses a vast range of materials. His impact was enormous. He was really the most important sculptor. And even those that followed both immediately and in the 16th century, such as Michelangelo and others, were looking back to Donatello and were learning from him. Well, there's lots of apocryphal stories about uh, the type of person he was. He was a very strong personality. I think it does come across in his work because you can see somehow, for example, in our um, lamentation relief, the, uh, how the rawness and how he treats his material differently. You can imagine that he had this incredible strong personality himself and it comes through in the way he treats his figures and the way he, as I said, he understands the human being, as it were, and how humans feel. He somehow puts his own personality into the sculptures. I think this exhibition is stunning because you can really relate to the characters and you can see the humanity and the, what's behind them as opposed to the, those striking classic figure. First of all, I was very moved by a certain sculpture of Donatello. There's one in particular that touched me, uh, was the Madonna and a Child, just at the entrance of the exhibition. 
that is showing um, a woman with her little baby and it's quite heavy and she's looking at him with a very adoring expression but something very human and for me this is all uh, about the, the genius of Donatello. He gives you uh, the impression that this Madonna could be you, this child could be yours.